What's up guys, this is Tatos coming at you with another LOL replay guide, this time featuring the program called Baron Replays, which is the best alternative to LOL replay or LOL recorder. LOL replay isn't this stable these days. I mean, I think it got an update recently and it should work again. I'm not too sure about this. I have stopped using it completely because the updates don't come in when you need them, but seemingly randomly. So that's that. Baron Replays is not that pretty as you can see here this is a screenshot of the program but it does the job it has a few issues though and i will talk about them in this video so first off just go to ari.tw taiwanese website i guess if you want to download the program so you can't read any of this probably like me just click on english and on download click to download and we are going to download that .exe installation file. Installation process is very easy and you can also copy and paste the Baron replace folder if you have installed it in an incorrect dire uh, directory or something like that. It's not a big deal. Let's wait for it to finish. I'm going to show you the installation process as well. It's very easy, although it's not in English and I don't think there's a way to switch the language, but this doesn't matter. So. Here are the, uh -huh. <laughs> the installation details, I guess. You can browse the directory, install it any way you want. Just click on extract. Let's overwrite all those files. And voila, we are done with the installation. Usually you have to start it or look for it in the taskbar. It has this purple Baron icon, I guess. <laughs> First off, if you started it, it's probably not in English. It's not displayed in English. It's probably displayed in, in this language. If this is the case, just uh, go on the third menu item and click English. If it's already displayed in English, then good for you. You can already see that I have a lot of replays here and the old ones sadly do not work. I don't know how to fix them. I don't know if anyone knows how to fix them. There is no repair option or change version option as far as I'm concerned. I will show you that they don't work by clicking the watch button. Usually the replays all get recorded automatically as you know it from LOL replay. You just, just have to wait and sometimes the newest replay won't show up immediate, immediately after the game. but. Usually you get these pop-ups. Okay, we have some issues here right now. As as I said, the old replays won't work probably, but the newest version or games recorded on the newest League of Legends patch, they should work. So as I said, when a game is recorded, you will get the notification in the task bar on the usually down right corner or bottom right corner. Okay, the client crashed. Let's try another one, which is fairly old. This one was some time ago, a few weeks ago, I think. So you can see we are loading into the game, but it will probably crash before we get into, into it. Yes, bug splat, don't send. But luckily, the newer games, they work totally fine. For example, this one from the 8th of April. This should work. I already tried it before. So let's start it. As you can see, everything is normal. You see all the summoner spells, all the, all the names, all the borders, the borders from the whole team, so you know <laughs> what division your enemies or which tier they achieved in the previous season <laughs> if you if you were wondering that but anyway here we are so you can see that a couple of issues are apparent when when entering the replay first off we are starting at the end which is not something we want so we have to rewind which is quite annoying but well it's it's not that big of a deal Secondly, the chat isn't working, the all chat, you see, you can see the purchases here, the item purchases, and for example, shutdowns, 
and stuff like that as they happen, but you cannot see the people talking in all chat. This is something that's quite bothersome in my eyes. But even worse is that in LOL replay you can right click, hold right click and then drag the mouse around and you could change the camera angle which is quite handy. For example, I use this in a in my channel intro in in a little mini montage so to say and also popular people like Shake Drizzle love to use this feature in their montages which is an amazing feature to be honest but Baron Replace does not allow this so I don't know what you want to do if, if, if you're relying on stuff like this so you might just have to live without it sad but true other than that it, vo it, it works mostly fine for the most part you can speed up you can move the uh, icons around from the champions you can uh, switch which vision you want to see for example if you want to see the blue side vision or if you want to see both that's that's working perfectly fine rewind works perfectly fine pause button works speeding up works slowing down works the items that are displayed are usually correct because we already have the the trinket displayed here so that works fine as well but some replays if not most replays they have another issue which is that if you start in the game you see that the structures aren't correct once they get destroyed they seem to be removed from the match which is quite annoying because obviously we want to see the the, the buildings or the inhibitors the towers and everything as as they are live as they are right now and not at the end of the game and also you can see here that the dragon appears to have spawned already which is not true this is quite confusing actually so just keep that in mind don't trust these indicators 100% for example the wraith camp isn't spawned but red buff is spawned this is obviously not true no camp should have spawned at this at this point in time so you have to live with that work work around those issues and you should be fine what can i say it's at least it's it's at least better than the issue we had with with the mini map uh with lol replay which was that square <laughs> design with the single color which was pretty ugly so at least we have a working mini map to a certain degree or it, it works to a certain degree other than that the sounds should work fine i think yeah, chat doesn't work, so I think that's it. Replaying should work on the newest patch pretty pretty well. No issues yet, but for the old versions, I don't know how to fix them. Also, obviously, this overview isn't always correct, for example, in the newest... In the newest recording I have here, I played Support Magana, which was yesterday on the 13th of April. And this item was called Char of True Eyes, although I didn't buy it. I think I, I bought the, the how's it how's it called <laughs> when you can harass and, and get gold for it for for mages for support mages. This is this item, so I don't know. There are some some small issues, but it should do the job for you if you're content creator. So hope this video is useful to you. I hope it's not too long. I think it's already yeah. Already almost 10 minutes. I'm sorry for the for the length, but I wanted to show you the issues with Baron replays at least the issues I found and the stability because the newer recordings they work pretty well usually so here we can see another recording and just to prove to you that it works pretty pretty well consistently. It's not like trial and error with like with LOL replay, which was like half of the games were bugged or all of the games were bugged if a new patch hit the servers, the live servers. So you always had to be scared of everything breaking down and exploding, so to say. This is on the current patch. And other than loading into the end or at the end of the game, 
it's it's working quite well. So yeah. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. That's it, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.